Once again tonight, KTN News has obtained evidence of politicians, including a former member of the Nairobi County Assembly, who suspected of dishing money to goons to disrupt today's demonstrations in the Nairobi Central Business District. From this evidence, KTN News has learned that the goons who used motorbikes with concealed number plates to enter to the Nairobi CBD were paid 1,000 shillings each, and their motorbikes were fueled with another 1,000 shillings before entering the CBD to rob innocent residents and unsuspecting Gen Z protesters. This unfolded right in front of KTN's David Mudoka, who was in the CBD all day. Here is his story. On Tuesday morning, motorbike riders, who from afar appear to be border border operators, but in real sense are suspected goons on motorbikes, are seen trailing this black Range Rover while receiving instructions from whoever were in the vehicle. Government supporters. A few moments later, the suspected goons were spotted at a famous petrol station along Haile Selassie Avenue in the Nairobi Central Business District, where KTN News has learned that each motorbike was filled petrol worth 1,000 shillings. After fueling, the suspected goons, who at least three in each motorbike, began their journey to the heart of the Nairobi Central Business District, where Gen Z demonstrators had planned to stage another round of protests against President William Ruto's administration. But before undertaking what they had been hired to do, the suspected goons on motorbikes with concealed number plates received another set of instructions from the same Black Range Rover that they were seen riding alongside in the morning. It is here where KTN News has learned that the alleged goons also received 1,000 shillings each and also given the green light to roam in one park in the Nairobi Central Business District thus disrupting the protests that entered their fifth week on Tuesday. KTN News has done a search on the owner of the Range Rover 2000 model on National Transport and Safety Authority's portal and has established that the vehicle belongs to one Mark Ndongo Nganga. On doing a further probe into who Mark Ndongo Nganga is, KTN News has learned that Mark Ndongo is a former member of the Nairobi City County Assembly who represented Maringo Hamza Ward in City Hall from 2017 to 2022 before unsuccessfully vying for the Makadara MP seat in the 2022 general elections. It is however unclear if Mark Ndongo himself was behind the wheel of his Range Rover or was the one dishing money and issuing instructions to the suspected goons in the two occasions where people in the Range Rover were seen interacting closely with the goons on bikes. In two rounds, the suspected hired goons snatched phones and other accessories from unsuspecting residents and innocent demonstrators. Uh, Na mimi nilikuwa nachukua video. Na nilikuwa kidogo tu hivi wapite na simu yangu. Wamepita nayo nime nilikuwa nimeshika na nguvu. Walikuwa naekewa mafuta ya dhao. Wana, wanapewa dhao. So badala ya hiyo wanaanza kusnatch simu kwa barabara wakikimbia. Tauni hawafanyi tauni. Ukiangalia namba plate zao zinasoma kangemi. In their third round, the goons who had earlier been mistaken to be border border riders who operate in the CBD saw fire from the actual CBD border border operators who set ablaze at least two motorbikes. At least three suspected goons were injured in the confrontation. Among them, this man who was beaten to a pulp before being rescued by police officers who carried him to a waiting police vehicle and whisked him away to prevent the angry mob baying for his blood from lynching him. <laughs> The two-hour confrontation between border border riders and demonstrators on one side and the suspected goons on the other side forced Nairobi police boss Adamson Bungay to intervene. The Nairobi police boss spoke for minutes with the border border operators who wondered why police officers watched at a distance as the suspected goons made rounds in the CBD, waving pro-government placards a move that forced the operators to take matters 
into their own hands. After Bungay left, protesters who until 1 p.m. had not taken to the CBD's streets appeared in their numbers and unlike previous protests, police officers did not attempt to tear gas them or disperse them with water cannons that were nowhere to be seen in the CBD on Tuesday. I, I wouldn't call this a truce, but there's some sort of truce between the police and us, peaceful protesters. And I'm just saying, yeah, this is an example of how a peaceful protest should be. In Afakua Hivi, you see, no one should be, no, no one should die. No one should have gunshot injuries. No one should be paralyzed, you know, following the events. Now, so I'm just saying, this is what we were asking for from, from the beginning. In yet another week, the Gen Z demonstrators on Tuesday took to various streets of the Nairobi Central Business District to demonstrate against President William Ruto's government. And this coming days after President Ruto himself said enough is enough with the Gen Z demos, the demonstrators have also said enough is enough with his government. David Muthoka, KTN News. Nairobi. Thanks, David. Spindle, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Renson Igonga, is asking Kenya.